let the games begin. A beam of quasi-particles capable of exciting matter to the point of rupture. I dare say it disintegrates things. Called a Q-beam for short. Cute. You know what I say? I say it particles things! It particle thing emulates them! Sorry about that, I went off on a rant about tacos, and I had to cut it out. Um, I may have been forgetting to take my anti-stupid pills. It's, no, 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 it's, it's not that kind, it's, it's just B12. I have a deficiency, so if I don't take it, I, I lose cognition, and it uh, probably affects speech and things like that. That's why I, I have trouble speaking. It might also be because I'm stupid. Either way. Anywho, the particle thingamalator. I can't believe I forgot about that. It's been following us through so many different games. I mean, there was Fear, there was uh, Wolfenstein, and now this game too. Uh, well, those are the only games I remember, but there's probably more of them. Uh, particle weapons are always cool, I guess. Um, ooh, I also made a decision. We need to spend Neuro Mods because of a really cool ability. Speaking of Fear, um... Do, 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 do. We need the slow-mo juice. So, combat focus I've been using on another character. And it is awesome. It is amazingness. I don't know why, but it's, it's just great. I feel like it's better than Typhon abilities because it just enhances your overall damage. It doesn't cost very much to use. And it doesn't have Pokemon Syndrome where... Yes, Electrostatic Burst is good against fire creatures, but then again, there's lots of lightning creatures over here, so it's, it becomes completely useless, and you have to spend a bunch of points over here, too, when you can just use a shotgun and slow-mo juice and get a bonus 125% damage. And you move faster, too, so it's harder for them to hit you. I, I don't know. It doesn't work as well in space. That's all I know. Which kind of upset me. But we're going to spend the Neuromods mods on that. I know we will not have five to get um, anti-brains, anti, what was it? I, I had something for this and I forgot. I was watching Har Harvey Birdman for some reason. Men talk the mind take, oh wait, that's, that's, that's not literate at all. Anti-brain thief, there we go. Was the brain thief on Harvey Birdman? I don't remember, blech, not important. Uh, so now we have slow-mo juice and slow-mo juice is awesome. We don't have any control over how long it lasts. It's just a buff that lasts for 12 seconds and you cannot cancel it. So if you waste it, yeah, you're gonna spend a full 12 seconds in slow-mo going Woo. But um, other than that, it's it's nice. It, it should have been a toggle ability, kind of like um, the cup morph. And it should just cost less as uh, you get better with it or the cost should have remained the same and the benefits should have been better with potentially a cooldown in between uses. I don't know why they chose to make it like this, but yeah, it's like a shot of adrenaline. A shot of adrenaline. There's something wrong with me today, seriously. Oh right, I've been neglecting B12, that's why. We need to scan that etheric phantom as well. And, ooh, case in point. Things like etheric phantoms are pains in the ass. And um, slow-mo juice actually helps quite a lot with them. It just does. I think the cost is real low, too. Yeah, it only costs 20. At level 3, you can move around almost at full tilt, and... <laughs> it's good. Plus a damage boost. I don't know if it affects, um, like, kinetic blast, so if you slow-mo it, then slam it with that, it does more. Oops. I knew I didn't want that out. Alright. I was tempted to increase the ability that we have with weapons, uh, presumably uh, the ability to modify weapons, so I could make this zap gun a bit better. But oi, come here, come here. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, well, good, neutral, whatever. Have to pick out that butt digger. Oi. Well, it's not a butt digger, he's more like a butt burner. I missed! Go ahead it now. Oi, who just shot me? It's me! Wow, you're not very fast, are you? Well, presumably they're actually really fast. They just have a profile like a car, so it's hard to tell that it's moving towards you. 
They say that children have a hard time reading the actual speed of a car because um, its profile doesn't change. If someone's running towards you, you can see the movement in their uh, shape, and uh, it changes more significantly over distance than a car. So a car going like 20 or 30 miles an hour. Oh, hello down there. What are you doing? You just stay down there for me, please. More specimens required. Yes, evil suit. I will scan all of the specimens, but for now... I want some slow mo and shotgun, please. I don't know why I have the Battlefield theme song in my head. But it's awesome! And that is slow mo power. Slow mo power is really, really cool. Those look like robotic arms. Imagine getting slapped by that. No, thank you. Oh, wait, I reopened this. Oh, boo hiss. There's a turret around here somewhere? Oh, it's on the floor. Well, not so much on the floor as tilted and uh, just whatever. I don't care. Those turrets never did much for me anyway. Up. Thank you. Yes, yes, exactly. You need to tell Morgan to move. He doesn't move very much for some reason. He has a problem with lead feet. Did I pick up that thing in the hardware lab over there? I saw something glowing. I don't know if I picked that up. Oh, that's gonna bug me now. Oh, I didn't pick it up. I didn't pick it up. There's something. Ooh, I didn't pick this up either. Yeah. Oh, wait. What? I don't understand. <laughs> well, I figured out something cool. What is he? Oh. You have to be obtuse, don't you? It worked like a million times. There we go. <laughs> it works with items too. Well, with objects. I just realized that this was a very, very thinly hidden lab. It was hidden behind some rolled up padding. I mean, the padding wasn't there when we went there, but before when people were working and everybody wasn't dying, it was hidden by like a curtain. Also, I managed to stack up lots and lots of stuff. Whoa, that thing's freaking out. But I forgot to save. Isn't that just like me? Save, do it. Now let's see how much we can get with this. Yeah. Whoa. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. That was a lot. Uh, 15, 20, oh. Where's all this stuff? 79, uh, What? I feel like I got gypped. An entire tape deck is made of less stuff than a shotgun? What? I'm confused. I mean, really, where does the mess go? I want to know. Chanting and shaking my fists. <laughs> I really like that. It's dangerous and lucrative. Amen. How in the world did I get a 254? That's a 154. This is so weird. There was a huge amount of stuff in that room and it produced almost nothing. Maybe it's counted by objects and not um, size or leverage. I guess if I had like 50, I don't know, lighters and 50 of these, they would account for the same amount of materials. Here's something else that doesn't really make any friggin' sense at all. Q-beam cells, three and three. Q-beam, three and three. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Oh well. I guess I'll make some Neuromod. Next on our list of places to explore is the cargo hold. Ooh, and I forgot something. We scanned something. The Etheric Phantom. Exert from Psychotronics Database. Common name Etheric Phantom. Scientific name Typhonanthrophantasmus Psychoetheric. 
It is unclear at this time what prompts the Weaver to invest additional resources in the creation of these more powerful phantoms. However, testing has revealed that these phantom specimens are much more durable and more dangerous than the weaker cousins. Are they more dense or what? Eh? I'm confused. Addendum. Of particular note is the etheric phantom, which produces a particulate cloud that is highly toxic <laughs> and disruptive to normal matter. The phantom is capable of manipulating this particulate to create a duplicate of itself for short periods, as demonstrated in test log number 1629-0231. Please note that in addition to the standard purge procedures required for phantom study, any enclosure used to house an etheric phantom must have its atmosphere cycled. So it's the fart phantom. It's El Stinko. And, um... So what does it do? Does it disintegrate things with the mass or whatever? And purge protocols! Why weren't there more rooms with purge protocols? I mean, an entire room. So if it gets out of the lab, you can just purge the entire friggin' room. Because, well, in the case of this station, most of these people are dead. Eh? Eh? I don't know. What is this telling me? Oh. What is that? Ether resistance. And absorption. I don't know how good that is. Phantom shift. Rapidly change position up to six meters away and leave behind a duplicate. Okay, that's kind of cool. And a longer duplicate. So I can do that warp thing. I can move up to 36 feet. That's really far away. And now it is time to make our way to the cargo bay. I think I've already said that, but anywho, just in case. Cargo bay! Which I think is down here. Yeah, it is down here. Cargo. Ooh, what's this? It's a big box. Shipping crate of the future. Wow, it has a lot of shock guard to it. I don't know what it's called. Mm. It's got a four lock on it? What? I can see stuff in there. It isn't properly sealed. These wouldn't work. That's disappointing. Oh, come on. Uh oh, I haven't done these in a while. I'm probably gonna mess them up. Ugh. Uh, this vroom, 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 vroom. damn it! Vroom. I said vroom. Ow. Nope. Oh, I got it! I thought I wasn't. I really thought I wasn't. <laughs> Ooh, this is a shipment of dangerous stuff. Oh, yes, I'll take that and this. And, ooh, and I'll take that and ooh, I'll take one of those too, please. What's in here? Oh, hmm, that was a great crate. Thank you so very much. Hmm, shipping. I should test to see if the cubing will actually disintegrate objects. I doubt it. Hmm, cargo processing, huh? Hello, Mr. Douglas. Or, you know, Mr. Douglas, or just dead person. Now oh, there's more of that white stuff in the, 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 the air. More spare parts, though. I like spare parts. I don't like drifting, though. Ah, space fuzz. Cargo doors malfunctions. Reactivation required. Cargo stalled inside. That's weird. Activate guts processing and um, cargo bay processing. I'll leave it alone. Are you ready? From Ash Lazare. Or laser. Or whatever. Okay, Edward. I'm in position here in the cargo bay. Once I execute the cargo processing command on this end, we'll have a limited amount of time to activate it on your side in guts. That should re-establish the cargo transit. Thank you for helping me with this. Next time I promise I will not forget my transcribe. I swear I had it with me this morning. It's like it just grew a legs and walked away or something. The instant you ping me, I will trigger this side. Ash. Bing bong. Is that the time it is on the station? I don't know. Interesting. 
Wait a minute. Oh, that's the transit line. Any reason why the transit line is the one that's most infected with the yellow stuff? I just think it's a little bit weird. Ooh, it's another cargo container. Is it open? Hmm. I kinda hope so. Oh, that's the one with the turrets. Okay, never mind. I've opened that one. I know. All right, so I'm gonna leave that alone because um, don't think I really need to do anything with that just yet, because I have to go and interact with another terminal. So if I'm going to be running them back and forth, those are safes, aren't they? I need to be able to um, do stuff with it. I lost my train of thought because I saw loot. Basically, I want to know where the other terminal is so I can run back and forth between them quickly without making mistakes. Lock door. Door, why did you lock? That's disappointing. Ooh, hello. Haha. -ha. I think I have a plan of sneakiness. All right. Let's do this. And action! <laughs> I'm in here now. They're empty. Oh wait, that one isn't. There's bullets in that one. Ooh, I thought that said sofa for a second, but it says safe. Is it safe? Is it? I should really stop making that joke, but I, uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna. That was interesting. Certainly lucrative, that's for sure. Don't know why they'd be storing so many bullets in there instead of a uh, security locker, but... Eh. Well, there's more microgravity here, so uh, there's that. This doesn't really look like um, storage. Looks more like um, maintenance tunnel. I mean, far be it from me to question uh, your labeling system. You know what? I am going to question your labeling system. Who did this? Who said this is the way to the cargo bay? Let's make it a maintenance tunnel. Oh wait, that might have been me. Well, it wasn't the me of now. It was the me of the past. I'm in better, different, stronger Morgan. Also, why are there air problems in the shuttle bay? I mean, I never figured that out. Also, why is the plasma shield coil thingy failing? Should we go and talk to the Protoss? Protoss use plasma shields, right? I, I don't know. I don't remember. If I'm right, that means I'm nerdy, doesn't it? <laughs> this certainly does not seem like an actual designated entrance. Um. Fishbowl? Why is this here? Oh, this is probably to move cargo. And this is for assisting if it becomes clogged? I don't know. Hello there, door. Can you open for me? No. Well, I see some flickery lights. Is there a phantom there? I think I just saw it. No, there is one. Hello. Oi. Does it know I'm there? I think it. Bleh. I think it kind of knows, but it actually doesn't. No, it's just staring at the glass. I don't think it actually sees me. Phantoms are stupid. Well, stupid until, like, in terms of brain. They don't use it very well. Uh-oh, is that thing coming to get me? I have a shotgun. Just you try it, punk. I have... Slow-mo juice. Oh, there's a portal over here. Boom! Boom! It says it's in stasis. Wait a minute. Is it in a, is it completely incapable of moving around in space? Oh. Ow! It's stinky. I forgot. That's fine with me. Wow, what a stupid mistake. Well, it... 
Apparently phantoms do not work in microgravity. Which is pretty weird considering that they can basically teleport. I'm having real stuttering problems today. That's bad. Shouldn't be stuttering. Is this seriously the way to get into cargo? Because it's a bad way to get into cargo. What's this? Cargo transfer doors malfunction. Reactivation required. Cargo stalled inside. Okay. Ash, you still there? Can't wait there too much longer. Zero G really upsets my stomach. Oh, ew, that's what that floating white stuff might have been. No worries, Ash. I'll sit here. Fire away. You hit me with your best shot. Or something like that. That was kind of cool. There's almost nothing in here, though, so I don't know why that's there. I guess it's not fully loaded. I need to get the Neuromods to upgrade my uh, weapons better. Ooh, life support. You know, I really like to support life. At least my life. Other people's too, I guess. So long as they're not um, giant butt munches. Again, are Typhon creatures actually alive? Eh, yeah, maybe. Depends on what we dictate as life. Because um, sometimes fire can be considered alive. Hello? I think it was considered um, alive for a while. At least by certain weird philosophers. Which actually might not mean anything at all now that I think about it. I'm just rambling because I'm lost. Hmm. Here's another cargo container. I approve of these. I shall enter my key code. Oh, wait. I'll just do that other thing and make it open. It'll like me so much that it'll just open. It won't even ask me for the password. Ow. Eh. Eh. Just, you just have to be charming. What is that noise? Okay, you can stop now. What, what's making that sound? 